are to ensure their kitten's survival. They nurse them, clean them. <coughs> Scene script. Have you ever wondered why some cats eat their own kittens? This is indeed a jarring question and an unsettling phenomenon. The act of a mother cat or queen as they are sometimes known, consuming her own offspring is a rare and distressing occurrence known as feline cannibalism. It's not an everyday sight and for good reason. It's a sight that shocks, bewilders, and breaks the hearts of cat owners worldwide. Now let's make it clear right from the start, this is not the norm. The majority of feline mothers are nurturing and protective, doing everything in their power to ensure their kitten's survival. They nurse them, clean them, and teach them the ways of the cat world. But sometimes, a dark twist in the tale occurs, and the mother cat, driven by factors we are yet to fully understand, consumes her own kittens. It's a behavior that's hard to comprehend, let alone witness. It feels so contrary to the natural order of things, to the fundamental instinct of a mother to protect her offspring. But nature, in its infinite complexity, is full of such paradoxes that challenge our understanding and force us to delve deeper. Feline cannibalism can happen for a variety of reasons. It could be due to stress or fear, health issues in the kittens, inadequate maternal instincts, or even environmental factors. Each of these reasons represents a different facet of the complex puzzle of feline behavior. And while we may find such actions distressing, they are, in a strange and paradoxical way, a part of the intricate tapestry of life. So if you ever find yourself in the unfortunate position of witnessing such a phenomenon, remember, it's not your fault. It's not the cat's fault. It's a complicated issue, interwoven with many factors, some of which are out of our control. This behavior, while disturbing, can have a variety of underlying causes. And understanding these causes is the first step towards prevention and intervention. So let's delve deeper in the coming scenes to unravel the mystery behind this unsettling phenomenon. One of the primary reasons a mother cat might consume her kittens is stress or fear. This statement may seem surprising, but it's a sad reality in the complex world of feline behavior. Stress or fear can trigger a variety of responses in animals, and in the case of mother cats, it can lead to cannibalism. Imagine you're a mother cat, you've just given birth to a litter of kittens, you're in an environment that's constantly changing, or maybe there are other animals around that you see as threats, these situations can cause significant stress and fear, and in the feline world a stressed or fearful mother may feel the need to eliminate perceived dangers to her kittens. It's a drastic measure, but from the cat's perspective, it's about protecting the rest of the litter. Let's delve a bit deeper into potential sources of stress for a mother cat. One major stressor can be changes in the environment. Cats are creatures of habit. They like their routines, their familiar smells, and their quiet corners. If you suddenly move house, bring in new furniture, or even introduce a new pet, it can create a lot of anxiety for your cat. This anxiety can escalate when she has kittens to care for, leading to extreme behaviors such as cannibalism. Another source of stress can be the presence of other animals. This could be other pets in the house like dogs or other cats, or even humans who want to handle the kittens too soon. The mother cat might perceive these as threats to her kittens, triggering her protective instincts in a harmful way. So what can we do to prevent such distressing scenarios? The answer lies in creating a quiet and stable environment for your pregnant cat. This means limiting changes in the home, reducing exposure to potential threats, and allowing her the space and peace she needs to care for her kittens. It's crucial to maintain a quiet and stable environment for your pregnant cat to prevent such stress-related behaviors. By understanding and acknowledging the potential triggers of stress or fear, we can help ensure the safety and well-being of both the mother cat and her kittens. Health issues and inadequate maternal instincts are other significant factors. When we delve into the health concerns, we find that a kitten's severe health problems or stillbirth can trigger a mother cat's instinct to remove the weak or deceased kitten. This may seem harsh, but it's a survival tactic ingrained in the feline world. A stillborn or sickly kitten can attract predators or spread disease, endangering the entire litter. In such cases, the mother cat, driven by her instinct to protect the rest, might resort to cannibalism. Now let's look at first-time mothers. Just like humans, feline mothers too have a learning curve. Especially for first-time mothers, the process can be overwhelming. Some may lack proper maternal instincts or experience difficulty caring for their kittens. This lack of experience and instinct can lead to neglect, and in extreme cases, cannibalism. 
For instance, a mother cat might not understand the importance of grooming her kittens, a process that stimulates kittens' digestion and keeps them clean. If she fails to do this, the kittens might suffer from health issues, which could trigger the mother's instinct to remove the weak link, leading to cannibalism. However, it's important to note that these are not common occurrences. Most mother cats possess strong maternal instincts and care for their kittens with great diligence. But when it does happen, it's often a sign that the mother cat is undergoing significant stress or health issues herself, and it's crucial to seek veterinary assistance. Whether it's a health issue in the kittens or inadequate maternal instincts, it's essential to keep a close eye on the mother cat and her litter. Regular health checks for both mother and kittens can help identify potential problems early. Observing the mother cat's behavior towards her kittens is equally important. If she seems neglectful or overly aggressive, it might be a sign of stress or health issues that need addressing. Regular health checks for both mother and kittens and careful observation of the mother's behavior towards her kittens can help prevent such situations. Sometimes a cat's environment can push her to act out of survival instincts. It's a harsh reality, but in the feline world survival often trumps sentimentality. When resources are scarce, a mother cat may engage in behaviors that to us may seem cruel, but to her are a matter of life and death. Imagine a scenario where a cat doesn't have enough food or a safe, comfortable nesting place. It's not an ideal situation for her, especially when she has kittens to care for. Cats are intuitive creatures, and a mother cat can sense when her environment isn't conducive to raising her young. She may feel that there's not enough food to feed her kittens, or that her nesting place isn't safe or comfortable enough for them to thrive. In these cases, a mother cat might resort to cannibalism, consuming her kittens to ensure her own survival. It's a drastic measure, but from her perspective, it's a necessary one. She's not doing it out of malice, but rather out of a desperate need to survive. However, this doesn't mean that we should just accept this behavior as inevitable. As cat owners or caregivers, we play a crucial role in shaping our cat's environments. We have the power to ensure that our cats have enough food, a safe place to sleep, and a comfortable nesting place for their kittens. It's also important to remember that stress can significantly impact a cat's behavior. If a mother cat is constantly stressed because of her environment, she might resort to cannibalism as a coping mechanism. By providing a quiet, stress-free environment, we can help to reduce the likelihood of this behavior occurring. In conclusion, the environment plays a crucial role in a cat's behavior. A lack of resources can push a mother cat to resort to extreme survival behaviors, such as cannibalism. As cat owners or caregivers, it's our responsibility to provide our feline friends with the resources they need to thrive. Ensuring that your cat has enough resources, especially during pregnancy and nursing, is key to preventing such extreme survival behaviors. It's essential to know how to handle situations where a cat exhibits cannibalistic behavior. As we delve deeper into the realm of prevention and intervention, let's remember that at the heart of it all is the well-being of both the mother cat and her kittens. The first step in this journey is to consult a professional. If your feline friend exhibits signs of cannibalistic behavior, it's crucial to seek advice from a veterinarian. They can rule out underlying health issues and provide guidance on how to appropriately respond to the situation. Your vet is your greatest ally in understanding and addressing the root causes of such distressing behavior. Creating a stress-free environment for your cat is another essential step. This environment is a sanctuary where your feline friend can feel safe, comfortable, and secure. Make sure to provide a quiet, secluded place for your cat, away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. This space should be warm, cozy, and free from loud noises or sudden movements. Monitoring the health and behavior of your pregnant cat is also of utmost importance. Regular checkups with your vet can help in early detection of any potential problems. Pay close attention to changes in your cat's behavior, eating habits, or general demeanor. If your cat appears anxious or stressed, it may be a sign that something is amiss. In addition, make sure your cat has access to a balanced diet. Proper nutrition is vital for the health of the mother cat and her kittens. Your vet can recommend the best diet to support your cat during this critical period. Finally, remember that every cat is unique, with its own personality and needs. What works for one cat might not work for another. It's all about understanding your feline friend and responding to her needs with compassion, patience, and love. Remember, understanding and addressing the root causes of such behaviors is paramount in ensuring the health and well-being of both the mother cat and her kittens. 
So let's be the best cat parents we can be, nurturing our feline friends with care and empathy every step of the way.